Hi, this is Leanne Hernandez and I'm with STAT at the YWCA of Southern Arizona. So as part of an ongoing uh, attempt to define and uh, share ideas, we're going to talk about the idea of privilege today. So um, I have a couple of observations about when we, when we talk about privilege is when you mention it, people tend to freak out. <laughs> it elicits such an incredible visceral response. And so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that and, and, um, and also to talk about the ways in which uh, you can bring up this uh, idea and concept of privilege with, uh, within your own organizations or with your family. So first of all, when we talk about privilege, um, people usually or many times um, can feel very offended because when we talk about, you know, we have privilege, you have privilege, uh, we all have privilege, it elicits that some, somehow we're uh, being blamed um, for something that is outside of our control and that we should feel guilty about X, Y, or Z. Um, but at the end of the day, everybody has privilege of some kind. And um, we actually had a conversation um, with my colleagues um, at the staff here at the YWCA yesterday to um, talk about this board behind me and this concept of, um, of privilege and looking at the different ways that it might show up in our day-to-day -day life. And so um, I thought that this was a really interesting exercise and so I wanted to share it with you. There is um, a website called socialjusticetoolbox.com and on there are several modules that you can download and, and share in different groups um, that you might be in or if, if you're having conversations around um, certain ideas, that you can um, use the modules as, uh, as, as learning um, tools. And so this one in particular is called Create Your Own Privilege List. And I thought it was just a really interesting exercise um, to illustrate the fact that we all show up in some way, shape, or form um, with some kind of privilege. So when we're talking about privilege, what are we actually talking about? What is a privilege? So privilege is a um, a right, advantage, or immunity that's granted to a certain group of people, period. So privileges can show up in a lot of different ways. So for instance, myself, um, nobody ever questions when I am affectionate with my boyfriend in public, right? Um, I am granted a certain amount of privilege around the fact that I am cisgendered, of just cisgendered female. I was just really taken with uh, the exercise that we did with, the, with my fellow colleagues um, yesterday when we, we pose the question, what are two or three privileges that you um, that you have? And um, it was just really surprising, so we wanted to share that with you. So I wanted to share um, some of the ones that, that we heard. Uh, one woman said, I'm a free white woman. Another, uh, I'm a citizen. Um, I've never been con convicted of a felony. I'm employed. I'm able-bodied. I'm able to vote. And so that even within um, a community of color, largely female staff, we, sh we illustrated that there were certain privileges that we walked in the room with. And so um, we have to be aware of that and we have to be aware of the blind spots and all of the things that we're not seeing out here on the periphery that also affect our communities. So that as we pursue our mission of promoting peace, justice, freedom, and dignity for all, that we actually mean for all. So when we're having these conversations around privilege, we also have to recognize that it gets a little bit prickly and that people can get scared and angry. And so we have to be um, a little bit tender with one another when we're talking about privilege. And that's not always going to happen. But I believe that when you're trying to build community, part of that is telling the truth. And so um, identifying and reconciling your own privileges is really part of that conversation. So thanks for joining us today. Thanks for listening. And I hope that you'll comment below. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends and comment and uh, like our page. Thanks a lot.